Hi, my name is Michael Kölling and I'm here to show you how to make stuff explode in Greenfoot. Uh, the first thing I'll do is starting up Greenfoot here and I'm really starting from scratch. That is, I have no project prepared here. You see, when I start Greenfoot I have my entirely grey screen uh, and the goal is to take an object and I'll go, I'm going to take a rock and make it explode so that things fly around and um, to get the animation of the bits flying over the screen. So first of all I'll make a new scenario for that. Let's call it explosion and here we get our new scenario and as you might have seen before if you've used Greenfoot before you start off with nothing much at all, a grey area here just your two super classes for world and actor. So first thing we have to do is we have to make ourselves a world so I create a new subclass of the world and I don't have a specific world in mind, this is just a demo, so I just call it my world. That is good enough. If I compile this, you'll already see here is my world. I've got a little world to work in. That's a bit too small for me, so I modify the size of this a bit. We open this up. I don't really need here the comments, they just explain how to do things. I know well enough how to do things, so I can delete them. Here we've got the cell size. I use one pixel cells uh, that gives me the smoothest animation and then I define a size, let's say I want 500 pixels width and 400 pixels height um, and let's see what that looks like. That makes my world a little bigger and so we have something to work in here. Okay, that is enough for my world for a start. Now I have to put something into the world. First thing is I want to have, I want to have something that, that I can blow up that can explode. So I make a subclass and I've decided that I take a rock. Um, I've got a picture here somewhere in, no, in nature is here is my rock picture. We can take this rock here. Um, so I name the class rock. I have chosen a suitable picture here. Shows me my selected picture. That's okay. So I've got my rock here. I could compile this now and I can already create a rock and put it into the world course not very exciting so far. If I run it now it will not do anything because I have no code in there. But the idea now, what I want to code with my explosion is that this rock shall just be blown apart. Um, the way I intend to do this is that when the explosion happens this rock object just gets removed from the world and instead um, a handful of little bits of debris gets put into the world and the debris is coded so that it just flies around. Um, so what I need next is debris objects so that I can take the rock away and put the debris in when the explosion happens. So I make myself a new object which is debris. And what I've done already before is I have prepared an image for the debris. What I've done actually is I went to Photoshop. Here's Photoshop. And if in Photoshop I um, go to my explosion images that here is the rock image um, that I've just used for my rock and what I've done there is I've just taken this and cut a chunk out of it and I ended up with this image here so I just taken the rock and I cut a bit out of it and saved that as under the file name debris PNG so I've made myself an image it's just a little gray blob here um, as a basis for my bits of rock flying around. Um, so because I've done that before I can here now go and find I've got that lying on the desktop. Here's my debris PNG. I select this. Okay and there's my debris object. Um, if I compile this now I got debris objects and the idea is that at first um, I will have a rock object and then the rock object when it explodes disappears and I get I'm shift clicking here and I put many of those in you know, and they will all fly apart. Um, I'll end the first part of our uh, video explanation here. See the second part if you want to see how we make these fly around.